Okay, so wow, yes. you guys arrive in the arid Barbellan savannah. The pilgrims make their way to Politrios, the province of innovations, where technology and magic meet and wondrous creations are made. The massive research and creation center that cranks and whistles at the core of the town not only houses one of the greatest minds of Alinthi, but also the means of Politrios's hydraulic power supply, as well as mm. its impressive irrigation, courtesy of the far-reaching roots of Corencia, the life tree, which mm -hmm. provides the water throughout its far-reaching deep roots. Uh, though its various advancement give for good exports, along with its own supply of regrowing minerals and precious gems similar to Viserli, it is rare that the people of the desert find themselves conferring with their sister provinces. A surprise considering Politrios' famous railroad system. Perhaps mm. a mystery to be solved. Oh. Mm. The railroad. So yes, you guys make it in town. You can see that there's a few people uh, just kind of hanging out around the dirt road. And you can see that there's your regular facilities just right out front. There is a general goods kind of markety area over here. There is a smithy as indicated by the sign. Uh, there is a church of Kothasong over here. The, uh, the great inventor, the god of progress and civilization. And yeah. there is also an inn or a saloon as it, it's called here. Uh -huh. Hmm. Mm, can we go sleep? Did we? <laughs> yeah, were we? Were we given? I thought we had talked to your dad, Astrapio, <laughs> and I thought he. And I thought he told us. Didn't he tell us like a person to speak to or like a place to go? He did give uh, you a card, a business card with his name on it that uh, you yes. can okay. bring to the oh, research, like the town, yeah, research and creation center to let yeah you know, people know that you are on official business on in his you know account. Oh, I didn't write down the names of the dragon or the... Uh, uh, that's neighbor. okay. The dragon's name is Sergi, S-E-R-G-I. And the uh, lord's name, her name is Lord Euphrasia. Ooh. You know that Ooh, she is Euphrasia. an air genasi. Hmm. And we know the dragon is a warforged, yep. I believe. Okay. Lord oh, Euphrasia shit. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah, this got mentioned a couple sessions How ago. How did I spell yeah. that right? Because <laughs> you're smart. You're a good guy. You're smart. Yeah. I nailed it. Well, you're smart. Spell it right. Well, I think maybe um, I take a break from uh, I take a break from uh, arm wrestling word. I think uh, <laughs> my arm hurts. Uh, I just like stretch my shoulder. Uh, it's like <laughs> ten wins in a row. Uh, I think that's enough. We I should. Told you to stop after six. <laughs> I know, but I feel like ten's sort of like a lucky number, I, oh. so we just got to go get a full ten of them. I think now that that's done, we should try and find a place that we're gonna be able to rest in case we're here for a little bit. I mean, certainly if we're gonna go across the desert to the next place, we're gonna have to get some supplies. So I don't know if. I'm looking around. Do I see, like, is the saloon also, like, an inn? Like, is that a place we could stay? Yeah, uh, it is. It's uh, multi-purpose. Mm. Most of them are standardized in Alinthi to have mm. both um, uh, a, mm. a, a sleeping facility as well as a place, you know, to eat at. It's a nightcap building. Mm -hmm. Classic. Uh, uh, and what just, time of day is it? Uh, it's about, like, evening. The sun is about setting. Uh, also, ah. um, because it is covered by the uh, wonderful doodles, you can see off in the distance because of the lack of flora and kind of hills covering it. You can see off in the distance covered by the atmosphere, uh, Quarencia, the life tree. Oh. I thought that was actually a super cool Whoa. detail. I noticed that when I was doodling. Yeah, I love that. So it's not a mushroom cloud. No. <laughs> no. <it's not>. That's, <laughs> That's <a> good. <laughs> We're, do, we're really playing like Fallout town. New Vegas. These Warforged are really taking their <laughs> tech advancements to a new yeah. level. <laughs> a little too far, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this town. It's a little dry. No, look at you know all the water. There's, yeah, there's yeah. water here. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> too much water. I mean, it's not as green as where we came from, but there, yes. there's water here. Let's check out the inn. Yeah, let's go to the saloon. Okay, as you ride forward in your kind of beat up uh, carriage cart, oh, uh, you do see someone standing in the middle of the road. Oh, tell me. 
Tell me who it is. <laughs> who is this? And you hear a familiar voice. Yes. Coming through a muffled helmet. Ah. <laughs> Play last. their theme. Get At their last. Theme on oh there. my god. Our nemesis. <laughs> it is she, La Destructora, the Destroyer. Yes! She calls yeah. out to you, and as well as her hellhound, El Coco. Where is he? There he is. Standing there beside her. In the middle of the dirt road is a tumbleweed rolled past, being pushed aside by a little child. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> it's being, it's being pushed after. by a kid. <laughs> No win. There's a lonesome hawk's cry and a slide guitar. <laughs> and you hear her voice echo throughout the stony buildings. Whether it be in the bays of Biscay or the desert of Barbella, my hunt is ceaseless and my hunger unquenching. Your doom is at hand, pilgrims, and I... And then she stops and notices your cart and your horses. Oh, good Corencia, you look awful. Are you okay? W were you attacked on the way here? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I, I I could have sworn the watchtower said you looked fine, but uh, my goodness, your carriage, your horses. Enough about our horses. We've I've got been plenty of fight for this left for a long time. Uh, are you sure that this is not a bad time? I just I don't want to get in the way if you need a day off or something. I can come back no, later. You're you're fine. Just don't touch the horses. We'll be all right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> can I can I pet your dog? I need emotional support. <laughs> After the battle. She's had a very rough day. I would advise giving. Oh, that's giving true. Her. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at El Coco, and El Coco looks up to her. Boof. And she. Boof. Uh, goes into a defensive stance. Ha ha ha! You may pet him if you dare, pilgrims. But watch, for his fangs are relentless. <laughs> Be just wary around that beast, Fritz. I'll carefully pet him. I'm just like I'm, I'm <laughs> crouched as far away as I can, and I'm like petting my my little wing string. And he he's like l licking your your wing arm, just like and giving you little nibbles, not bites, just like <laughs> play nibbles. Just nah, 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 nah. <laughs> what a vicious creature. <laughs> And Beware the poison of his fangs. <laughs> and immediately, I'm, I'm gonna need you guys to roll initiative. Yeah. yeah. We gotta, we gotta yeah. drop our little. Oh, yeah, yeah. drop your toes. Put us on the map, baby. To. Oh, that's I think right. We, you you put yourself you on the map. Wow. wow. Uh, cool. I like how Lara doesn't. Lara, you don't win it on the little cuddle puddle that we're doing over here? No. <laughs> we're we're okay, scrunching right. together. A little scrounged together. It's already means, too hot. <laughs> Okay. We all have so much. I have too much fur, I guess. I have too much fur. Oh, yeah. This is perfect for me. Okay. First <laughs> one. Nah, Just sunning on a rock. Yeah. Versus oh, La okay. Destructora, the destroyer. I'm gonna... Careful. Ah. Uh, what do I feel like doing? Ah. Huh. Uh... <laughs> I'm so scared to hurt them. Motherfucking pug dog. I'm gonna. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna use a dagger attack. I haven't done one once this entire oh time. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Kill I'm gonna go on off to one of the right? horns. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on La Destructora. I don't think we're trying yeah. to stab the dog. Okay. Right. Yeah, no, I'm not touching the dog. I'm going, going for... specifically for the horns. The horns! You go, <laughs> and she ducks out of the way, swift as a bat. <laughs> or some other small, fast creature. <laughs> and she just kind of uh, kneels down and puts, like, one hand to her chin. Impressive, pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> but are you faster than this? <laughs> And she does various poses. You do have a second attack oh. since you are level five ranger. Oh, can I? Oh, I'm going to imitate her poses, trying to be even better. <laughs> what? What? I guess I would a roll for that. Uh, another attack? performance. The JoJo pose. Uh, if you want, you can oh. give me a performance as well. Yeah. Oh. You feign her. You, you just kind of look like you're kicking and flopping around in the sand, and a little bit of yeah. dust gets dust in bath. your eyes a little bit. Birds do uh, dust baths. This is a fine thing. It's yeah. healthy. <laughs> dust bath. Yeah, that's me done then. No, you're not going to spend your second attack. 
That was my second attack. I was trying oh, to hit the morals. All right, wonderful. Okay, next is La Destructora, who now brandishes a new spear. And you can <gasps> see that on it are like a bunch of drawings. And you can see like the next to, uh, on the sidelines, you can see that there's a bunch of kids cheering for her as well. Oh no! <laughs> oh, what? They're like, kill She's them, kill them, kill them! She's ingratiated herself to the populace. Oh, they're, they're, they're chanting, kill them? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh! I knew I didn't like this town for a reason. And La Distractura <laughs> brandishes her newly signed spear with a bunch of crayon drawings on it. Gladly. <laughs> she is going to stab at you, Fritz, as you are flailing around <gasps> on the ground. <gasps> How dare I'm just trying to dance. Oh, and no. you feel <laughs> the harsh cardboard <laughs> spear <laughs> pierce <laughs> through <laughs> your armor, and you take one piercing damage. Oh, is that an accurate description, though? A cardboard, <laughs> a cardboard cut. Those are the worst. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually that's pretty curious. devastating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does, Ow. does she like aim for a nick, but like in the armor, or does it actually manage to? Pierce no, it doesn't armor? actually pierce. I'm just flavoring it up. Oh, okay. Just yeah. <laughs> it just, you just, I'm, I'm wondering how scared we need to yeah, be. Yeah. No, it doesn't <laughs> actually pierce. She just stra <laughs> stabs straight into your chest, but you can see mm. the like cardboard tip just crumples up. Although the force that she put, she maybe doesn't know her own strength. It, it does feel a little bit of like a, a punch in the gut. Oh. That really but, hurt. Uh, you can tell that she was definitely pulling it. Hmm. How dare. And she commands El Coco. El Coco, quick, while she is down. Attack! And El Coco just like trots up to you and starts <laughs> licking the place where La Destructora stabbed <laughs> it is oh. only a matter of time before you succumb to your wounds <laughs> Lyra, your turn uh, once again I find myself torn no I'm not I'm gonna summon beast, <laughs> summon beast? <laughs> what do you summon I feel <laughs> less bad about making this a Pokemon battle uh, let's make it an exact copy of El Coco again. <laughs> Another El Coco. <laughs> Another El Coco. <laughs> and what do you command it to do? I have no idea. I'm so tired. This has been a really long day. This is my last like second level spell. Um, uh, take her down before she hurts anyone else. <laughs> and that is code for? Attack. Attack, okay. <laughs> And how uh, does El Coco 2.0 attack? Uh, I think just like, like runs full tilt and kind of like headbutts a little bit. Okay, give me an attack roll. I think that's yeah. All right. Uh, yes. Right? Let's see. Hold on. Um. Ooh, multi attack. Oh. Uh, it's just one attack. Never mind. Okay, it's a maul. So uh. Your spell attack modifier to hit. All right. Does a 13 hit? Uh, 13 does not hit. She, uh, okay. Uh, you are attacking uh, the other El Coco? Yes. No, I'm attacking La Destructura. La Destructura. She just kind of sidesteps. <gasps> Ever imitated, but never imitated. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Your mind games won't work on me this time. <laughs> All right, that's my turn and okay. my beast's turn. Word. All right, I am going to um, pull out a little clay flask of oil. And as I toss it at her, I'm just going to be like, you weren't prepared for my special move. The dragon's bargain. And I toss the, toss the uh, oil at her. Oh. I, I tried to do, hold on, does that, that work? Rains to attack? Yeah, there we go. Impossible. Yeah. Oh, yes. boy. The, the flask breaks and splashes her all over and she just winces a bit Gah, what is this substance and then I pull out negotiation which oh is god. capable of dealing fire damage oh, no. children are watching oh my god <laughs> now we bargain is the fight over or not give me an intimidation <laughs> okay oh. 
<laughs> oh, I'll, I'll no. like drop, That's gonna drop end the dagger in the ground as I'm talking. Like I try to like... throw it up and I almost cut my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not until my dying breath, pilgrims. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, it's getting away from me. The wind's blowing. <laughs> Uh, That's my turn. All right, Great. wonderful. Next is Buck. I will uh, put Big Blind on my shoulder and then walk up. How much taller am I than? I don't know if you just said how tall La Destructora is. Uh, she is of average humanoid height. I would say maybe like five nine, five ten. Okay, so I'm taller. Um, that is look, taller than average humanoid look. for women, just for the record. <laughs> oh yeah. Listen, we're, there's a we're, it's, uh, where human there are humanoids that are like orcs and elves and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> average humanoid. Average Nothing. humanoid. Women are just taller world. and stronger and mm -hmm. extra attractive in this world. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah. what happens. <laughs> yeah. I want it on it. record that that is the case. <laughs> I walk up. Uh, I walk up and I say, "Look, um, we're gonna have to." You're gonna have to let us know how it is that you keep finding us. Mm. Give me Be a either persuasion or intimidation. Uh, I'm better at intimidation, so I will roll that one. <laughs> Ugh, jeez. She simply puts yeah. both hands on her hips. <laughs> Foolish pilgrims, I am an enigma, a quandary, a riddle in a book written in a language beyond even the polyglots of Aguna. Perhaps I hit her with the hammer. You, <laughs> were you to truly defeat me, you may learn. If only you will live to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hit her with the hammer, okay. and I'm gonna attack <laughs> recklessly. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, you oh. just pull the hammer down, and boom, like it looks like it's going to hit with a bunch of force, but bing, just immediately stops and makes a ding oh. sound as you see her armor flash once again with a golden light that you once saw before. And she drops to the floor. Oh, no, foiled again. Mark my words, pilgrims, for this is not the last you've seen of me. Watch your backs and, wait, what is it, uh, Treveseta? Uh, do do we really need to go it, to this? This uh, place. Do we really need can to I go this there? I hate Travis Setter. Can we? Can, can we? I oh, hit her again? Snake. I have another attack. Oh, you want to hit her oh. again? <laughs> <laughs> I want to knock her out. I did. We just got attacked because we because we have been like someone's been learning our location. Oh, I think it's her. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this one <laughs> knocks her. You don't see the golden glisten. From Fuck no! This time. <laughs> what? <I'm laughs> and you smack her, and and all the children are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And she just like immediately stops, uh, and just stands up. Oh, how'd you do that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what'd you do, Buck? I was. You said if we defeated you, you knocked the monologue us. out of her. <laughs> I, I didn't. I'm sorry. You attacked us. I mean, I, I didn't do anything. You attacked us. <laughs> oh, what's this uh, over you, here? You know what? Uh, that's. Uh, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're right. Um, I mean, I, I was trying to make this, uh, this, this interesting. But uh, if, if you really want to know if it matters that much, I, I don't know what you've been through. It seems like you went through some trouble. So, sorry. I, I shouldn't have assumed. Uh, you really want to know? I, it's probably going to destroy the, the, the magic of this. Oh God! Look, I'm. I didn't. This seems like it's more than I thought it was. Um, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, but we just, to be clear, and I don't know why I'm sharing this with you, but we we have been attacked by living goo, ooze, you might call it, and it's the blot. I, just call it the blot. The Everyone blot. Who knows what the blot is? I know. I'm. I'm trying to sell it up a little bit. We're. <laughs> I, I don't know how it is that they've been tracking us. And you clearly have been tracking us. And I, as much as it's fun to play this game with you, I need to know how it is you're tracking us. And so I'm sorry I hit you with my hammer. Oh. If if you're not... No, no, I, mean, I, I understand. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I should have anticipated that you would have gone through a lot of trouble. Uh, do you really want to know, though? 
I'll look back at Fritz and Word and Lara. <laughs> like, are we? Uh, like, what? I, I'm, I'm walking in the opposite like I said, direction. The I don't want to be gone. I don't. Actually, <laughs> even if this happens, I'm gonna take off my headphones. Word doesn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can just. I mean, I, 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 I like the bit. I don't. I, hold on one second. I gotta talk to. <laughs> look, I enjoy the bit. I think the bit's fun. I just. This uh, it concerns me. I don't know what this person is uh, doing. Maybe, may, uh, <clears throat> fuck. Don't be suspicious of everything. It's not maybe, fun. Maybe we could ask. This journey's instead. hard enough. Hmm. We could just I'm ask sorry, maybe instead if they're like in cohesion with that. Like if if only Go they what? can do it. You know, like can only they do it, or can others do it? You know. I find it's, it very unlikely that this person what? is collaborating with the blood in any way. Ooh, yeah. I would be so disappointed. I don't want to live in a world where that's the truth. <laughs> I just, I feel like the questions that Fritz has are exactly the questions I want to ask this person. And if, I, I don't know, how do I put this? I don't know why we're following along with the bit if this person is even ostensibly seeking to stop us on our journey. Clearly. She said she spoke to the watchtower. Perhaps she's an official of some sort. Yeah, you're already taking away the fun. I'm out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving uh, me too much to go off of. <laughs> we we could just ask if others would be able to do what they're doing instead. I would and like then we to don't point out that yeah. we are currently probably targets of quite a lot of attention, given that our quest is of significance to the entire kingdom. I strongly I mean, doubt that La Destructora is the only person capable of tracking us down right now. Well, Buck, if you want to know, you can go ask. And Fritz covers their ears and walks off to word. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she shouts out from the other <laughs> side of the road. If you want, I can be vague about it. <laughs> Lyra, do you, uh, uh, we can, uh, I assume there's a way we can play along to keep the, I can't believe I'm going to say this, the magic going. But I just need to make sure this person is not going to be a threat to us, or if they have any information, uh, you you understand where I'm coming from, right? Of like course, this, I you understand. you this entire time have stressed how serious of a job this has been. The other two, I guess, I'm not surprised about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I understand. I had a different plan for acquiring the information, but uh, I recommend you talk to La Destructora, and I'm going to cast Speak with Animals and talk to El Coco. <laughs> <laughs> El Coco is looking back and forth and just uh, kind of be like, You, you, you hit Duke Structura. Uh, why? Why you hit her? Just Hello, like, little guy. <laughs> He's not very happy with you. Oh, well, I'm not I, happy I, with him. He hit, he hit Duke Structura. Why? He What's was, he saying? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, he was okay. worried, that's all. Mm. He's protective, just like you. I go protect La Destructura. And she, he just kind of like goes over and just uh, stands next to her, just kind of like pawing at her, and she just gives him a little scruff while looking at you guys. Well, there goes my plan for extracting information from the dog. <laughs> All right, can, let me try they're something. Not, they're not like far away. You can like bark at him, I guess. <laughs> like call him back. He's just know. like bark, bark. Let me. I'll. I will. Uh, I'll. Is. I'll walk up to uh, La Destructora and I will sort of faux menacingly point uh, Big Blind with one, holding it up with like one hand towards her, and, I, and I'll say in a in like a mock, sort of villain voice. I will let you live, La Destructora. And I look over at the kids who are watching. Uh, oh God, the music started. <laughs> uh, I will let you live, La Destructora, but. You must reveal to the two of us your secrets of perception. Uh, is that good? While, I, I, while yeah. this is going on, uh, Lyra, because this is going to give a response that's basically going to end this going on. Lyra, uh -huh. what did you want to speak with El Coco about? Um, I wanted to know what they do when they're not attacking us. <laughs> uh... El Coco just kind of talks about how they hang out in town. Uh, she buys him treats, uh, lets him run around and get a lay of the land, uh, huh. meet up with the dragon and lord and chat. They seem to chat a lot, it seems. Gotcha. And, um... 
Okay, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I druid craft a little, like, I don't know, like tasty berry for him or something? Yes, you can. Thank you. <laughs> and you give it to him, and uh, he just, yes. like, and, like, it, it kind of almost devours your hand in the process, but, like, he clearly is going for the berry. Like, he doesn't bite A gift your hand. for a noble knight. <laughs> oh, I'm noble knight. Mm. Yes. And uh, so, <laughs> at the, uh, the d declare that she let you know who she is, give me an intimidation. Sure. I think at this point we're selling it for the kids watching. <laughs> and she looks down. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you still haven't figured it out, Pilgrims. Let's say I'm a friend. From Satya. El Coco, with me! And she points, and like El Coco just spins in place to create a dust cloud with the sand that <laughs> barely covers them, and they run off into the alleyway. A Ooh, friend from Satya. I wanted the signature. <laughs> and you have defeated La Destructura yet again. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go back to the VODs and watch again. <laughs> Look for any suspicious NPCs, about 510. <laughs> Um. All right, I'll, I'll, I walk back to L Lara. I just don't get how that helps us, but I guess if I, I think we can confirm that they're not a threat. To I'm so tired, and we, and still hurt from fighting. Let, yes, let, let's go where, to the end. Yeah, let's go get Fritz and where to we'll go get them and take our. And then I trail off, and then yeah, we'll go to the inn. Yeah. All right, so you go to the inn, and uh, inside you see Don't that I'm, uh, I'm here. Yeah. All right, so you guys head to what sign is put out called the Bronze Saloon Tavern and Inn, and inside you can see that there is a fire genasi who is wearing some very well kind of suited vest and she seems to have a scar across one of her eyes and she waves you in and just uh, whistles over to a few of her hands to come help you to whatever it is that you need. And here she is. She points to a sign on her vest, uh, a little tag that says Norium. Oh, oh she's cool. Yeah. Stop making them hot. <laughs> but this is a fire Literally. Genasi. They have to be. Blah, blah. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Um, can she hear or speak? Pointing to the name tag makes me think. She has a name tag that says Norium. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that what you're saying? So, okay. like, calling to her and greeting her, it seems it seems as though she does not speak, but she's able to uh, understand and, and hear you audibly. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, I, I assume we just want some food and a place to sleep, right? <laughs> I think so. All right. Uh, I will convey At least until as we such. get a nondescript object and then leave. <laughs> we we can't suddenly decide we're going to be subtle. <laughs> <laughs> let's get a let's get some dinner. Let's sit down for. I mean, we get, gosh, we 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 got the heart. We feel like we haven't really taken a break. Mm. Feel like, yeah. yeah, she's able to oh, give tired. you guys mm -hmm. a uh, seat uh, just at a table, all on your own. And uh, yeah, uh, you guys, I would say just a, a regular nice uh, meal. There's a lot of like citrus-based drinks, some Ooh. cactus juice, some lime, Ooh. some orange, some, uh, you know, all that sour goodness. Uh, though that's the special here, as it is a savanna and very arid. A lot of citrus tends to grow. A lot of um, huh. And uh, for the meal and the room, it is merely going to cost two gold pieces for the whole thing. It's a package deal. Cool beans. For everybody? For everybody. For a shared room, anyway. If you want individuals, it's going to be one additional gold piece per room. Yeah. Uh, I think but, Lyra, uh, yeah, a you joint room that will fit all of you is the, the one extra gold piece. Of course. All right. Let's drop that two gold. Oh, let me check. Where is my gold? I did it. I just took oh, it. It's fine. No, it's you're two paid gold. For. Yeah. 
Oh, you paid. Yeah. Yeah. It's too cool. It doesn't break easy. Cool. Okay. Let's have some food and then, like, sleep or something. <laughs> <laughs> what foods they got? Uh. I miss cannon burger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, they surprisingly the have a check. decent amount of seafood for a place out in the desert, but it's mostly kind of salt water fish, or uh, no, not salt water, or fresh water fish. Fresh water. As uh, the river, <laughs> sorry, not salt water, not out here. Hmm. No, um, uh, fresh water fish uh, that apparently, and a lot of what they call underground fish that live in the, the waters that are kind of underneath the ground that swim around the roots of the uh, life tree that run throughout beneath uh, the ecosystem of this place is fascinating <laughs> okay I'll take the big pale one <laughs> uh, she nods and uh, kind of whistles over kind of a uh, what seems to be some kind of coded melody for uh, the helpers who understand and <laughs> go bring you your meal That's so cool. she can hum she cannot whistle. hum, she can whistle. Uh, oh. So then she would have a tongue. Yes. Huh. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry, the, the character's like missing an eye. I'm learning their visual and, backstory. And, and they're not speaking. They we do don't see them speak. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Ripped up vocal cords. Yeah, there she is. A lot of things could have happened. Um, that's true. I take true. I take a bite of my fish sandwich. Um so what what is the plan for tomorrow do you guys want to just go and try and find the dragon or i mean we do gonna... have a relative in uh that guy that none of us have ever met before who doesn't matter that much what's his name uh, yeah what was his name uh, astrapio As As astrapo okay <laughs> oh, yeah. we go yeah. find him and apparently he knows who the the, the dragon is okay certainly. Yes, that may be the wisest course of action. I would like to go shopping. I ran out of one of my pots of oil, oh. and I realized with a new named move, you know, I gotta have, like, at least ten of them. Can I go shopping with you? Yes, that would be fun. Yeah. I could pick you out a really nice fuzzy coat. I don't know if I need one. I don't know if they also, sell those in the desert. I just realized we are in the desert. <laughs> yeah, we are in the desert. <laughs> We'll buy um, you some uh, a circlet, maybe. That sounds like a good idea. I'd Buck like and I get, can like, go and rendezvous with the whatever he is, and um, he's a bird. Yes. No. Yeah, but did we <laughs> learn his? Did we learn his title? I, think he, I mean, he's some kind of official. We know that. Uh, yes, I'm not entirely sure the details, but he is I'll, an officiate and underling of the mayor. That's all I know. He said he was an officiate. I don't know if that's a, the official thing. My goodness word, your handwriting is impeccable. <laughs> no, I don't actually write any of this down. I just remember. I, you know how people build like mental palaces where it's like, you know, there's the big entry and then there's the rooms that have stuff in them. Oh. <laughs> That's what do, I do. What, do. what do you do? Wow. There's like a you mental build... palace with a bunch of really like interesting statues and waterfalls and stuff and I just mentally explore that and that's how I remember stuff. Uh -huh. Ingenious. Uh -huh. Right. I don't know how to write. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Then I'm going to. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to. I, and later, I'm fine with doing that. I, I wanted to stop by the church here, so I could at least get some worship done. Ooh. Before, I, I mean, it's not going to take me very long. But no, while no, we're here, I figured I. I can also go and talk to Estrapio alone. I don't think that would be too much of an issue. It, that's fine with me. Um, I'm gonna. It's not going to take me long, and I get up pretty early, so I can maybe do that beforehand it's however you want to do it i'm not gonna take offense if you wait for, i i just think that maybe hmm? wait you're going to a stopio i'm wait i'm confused what are we doing as a group it sounds like we're doing our we're own splitting individual up, I thing yeah we're splitting Tomorrow, the party uh we're, we're going to Which rest but fun. we need to at some point liaison with the dragon and Estropio is some form of official in this city who gave us his card, so presumably we are expected to go through him. I think if we're going to meet with either the Lord or the Dragon, we should probably all be together for politics' sake. Mm. But yeah. maybe we can get a lead on on that through Estrapio. Or set that up somehow. 
Correct. <laughs> so, do you want to do that first and then split up? Do you want to do that? It's just business. Do you want to see Astrum? <laughs> Let's find some time where we can meet with Astrapio together. We, I'll do my. We, we can all go together. That's fine. I'm just all right. Be very invested in my fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so, just eating. are you? Are you guys are gonna go see Astrapio first? I think the plan is to, because it's like evening, right? It's about evening on late to... evening, like six, seven. It sounds like maybe do some morning stuff, like do some morning shopping and praying, and then maybe mm -hmm. go right after that. We can like meet up since we're all kind of like in a town square, like any, like we're kind of close to all that stuff anyway. And then yeah, after that we'll go to see if we can find Astrapia. And I think the idea is we'd be doing all that tomorrow. So yes. Would, yeah. I don't think yeah. we're gonna do any of it because it's like towards the night, like night. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I guess you guys just want to spend the rest of the night just kind of hanging out and uh, letting the, the day go by then. And... Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, can I can I ask Norium a question? Uh, yes. <laughs> I just, because I don't know, just had a question uh, before you head off to serve someone else. How'd you get that, uh, how'd you get that scar on your eye? Oh my if God. If it's not too personal. <laughs> if it's not too personal. Staring deep into the fish sandwich. <laughs> she actually looks a little elated at this, and she comes by the table uh, and kind of does a bunch of kind of hand signs, play, setting out the scene, using a bunch of props around the uh, <laughs> the table and, like, restaurant as well. Like, she pulls <laughs> up a little napkin and, like, floofs it up to make it look a little bit fiery, and then she points to it and points it to herself. That's her. And... Oh. Uh, she mm -hmm. shows, th uh, she kind of takes some of the salt, sprinkles it down, and then points to it, and does little, like, makes herself small, like a little ball, and like, wibbly, indicating that it's the blot. Oh. And, uh, that she, uh, points at one of the Warforge patrons in her, uh, in her inn, and then she points, and then does like a gesture of like their small and then big flowing arms, like wings, the dragon. She's referring to Sergi. Wait, is Sergi so in the right even there. right now? No, he's not oh. in the so Sergei saved, maybe saved her from the yes. blot. And she that basically, blot is what... in a manner of signing and gesture, shows that she met Sergi uh, through an attack from the blot. He saved her and uh, she was able to she was kind of going through a very difficult time as the blot was overtaking her body as she nearly died, but Sergei saved her and was able to recover uh, what he could with both her eye and kind of her, the rest of her body. Unfortunately, she lost her voice and one of her eyes. Oh, huh. what a harrowing escape. Well, um, as, uh, as beautiful as your, uh, your left eye is, you know, it's a shame that the other one is, uh, uh, <laughs> in the state that it is in. Um, she uh, she waves her hand and like uh, shakes her head and almost like breathing out like a laugh. Uh, and uh, she gestures over to a few of the um, uh, female patrons that are in the inn. And you can see that they're <laughs> eyeing her up. And then she just kind of <laughs> wiggles her eyebrows and then points to the scar. Right, right. <laughs> you gotta let people be proud of the battles. Right, right, sorry. I didn't it's mean- It's not uh, a pity. <laughs> No, 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 I didn't mean it. I just, you know, just a... I, she seems, I didn't mean yeah, anything. Yeah, she seems to, to um, imply that uh, girls like it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I understood. <laughs> Give me meant. four months and I'll be back here on the list. <laughs> she, she lifts That's her how hand long up to high-five you. <laughs> I give her a high-five, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, great fish, and the, and the fish sandwich, also <laughs> equally beautiful. Uh, great sandwich. Fuck, fuck. Beautiful sandwich. Buck, how, how did you ever get a wife? We've hit oh. groundwater. Please stop digging. <laughs> she what? seemed very patient. <laughs> oh, my God. It was nice to meet you, <laughs> Noria. She gives a little bow and reaches into the pouch in her vest to hand you the keys to your room. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Wait, is it Noria or Norium? Norium. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you can't see the full name, you can increase the size of the window a little bit. Too. Oh, yeah, my bad. I All good? Read it. <laughs> yeah, all good. 
All right, let's turn in, probably. <laughs> yeah. Anti Riz. Lyra, why are you blushing? I don't, I don't, under, I don't understand. It's fu- It's hot. Everything is hot here. I don't understand it. You got the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, that would be contributing, certainly. Let's go. <laughs> are we all in the same room? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. We're sleeping in the same cot. It's fine. No, I know. No, I know that. I just, I just, in in the middle of it, I'm like, hey, Fritz. <laughs> what? I just can't sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm under the bed, by the way. You're under the bed. Okay. Yeah. Wait, do I bump into under, anybody? Under, under, me? under <laughs> wait, wait, when you say under the bed, we're not all sharing. We're not even like. <laughs> we're like, oh, we have little Nick oh. cats in pajamas. We're all in one <laughs> big bed. <laughs> With the slippers up. on. We, um, we're like the no, I'll, I'll be under the old lady who bed. lived in a shoe style bed with all of us like. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. All right, uh, marching room, order. Where is everyone napping? You in however way your character is most comfortable <laughs> sleeping in the same room together. Without making it so weird. So three three beds. Yeah, three beds, <laughs> and you are under one of them. I am for sure in a pile of blankets and pillows in the corner. Mm-hmm. How are you I'll, not boiling up? I'll Why sit in a chair. Oh my God. You're, not gonna, you're not gonna sleep in no one, one of the beds. So no the one's bed. sleeping. I'm gonna go sleep in one of the no, beds. Yeah, you guys are crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm good good sleeping under in Fritz. The, I just like to sleep. You in know a what? Chair. Yeah, I'll, I'll. I'm going to have a word here. I'll let word to sleep under the bed, and I'll sleep on top. It'll be great. It's Perfect. like bunk beds. There's, t- there's so there's three beds. Two of you are in bed. Word is under the bed, and Buck is in the chair. <laughs> in no, the and Lara yeah, is took all the blankets from me. Took all the blankets. Oh, you're not. You're not even on the bed. So there's three no. beds. One <laughs> person is <laughs> using a bed, and the rest of us are not using a bed. The mattress is too Dude, soft. Perfect. I'm going to take this opportunity to have a bed. Fritz doesn't usually sleep in a bed. They sleep in a boat. Like. I love this party so much. Yeah. Push the beds together. Let's I love Lucy it. <laughs> Fritz has formed Fritz, a, Yeah, we'll push. some point. Can we can we push the three beds together so that Fritz can have a mega bed? <laughs> oh fuck yeah! They've got like we'll, a like a California king. <laughs> exactly. We'll push. <laughs> I'll push the beds together so Fritz can have a, like a huge the kind where, like, bed. To you sleep wake up in. in the middle of the night and you can't find the edge of the mattress. Yeah. I am full star fishing then. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna sleep at the foot of your bed like in the middle of the night. I'm gonna. Oh, like here. a cat. <laughs> Don't judge me. You can't see me. <laughs> I'll pull my I'll pull my hat down over my eyes and just sleep in like an armchair. <laughs> okay. Good work, team. <laughs> Wonderful. The, you did it. the important Mega part bed. is out of the way. Good. Uh, we got that figured out. I was I was very concerned. Yeah, it's deeply important. <laughs> very important. Less I important. love this kind of stuff. It's great. <laughs> uh, throughout the night, you all sleep fairly soundly. There's the the odd sound of rushing water and the distant clanging of invention going on. It's actually kind of rhythmic. And um, uh, all of you are able to fall into a deep slumber. But Word... Mm -hmm. (gasps) Oh, no. Word, as you're trying to sleep, you seem like you're not able to get drowsy at all until you hear a subtle voice. You... You're the one from the well. Yes. You don't deny it. Depending on the well. The one you stole money from. The one in that little town with all those (gasps) rackety crystals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I might have done that, yes. Oh, my God, he's haunted. He admits it. I own up to my thievery. I see. Hmm, Very interesting. Your breath makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I apologize. Perhaps my appearance might make that a little bit nicer. And you can see out of the (laughs) darkness... There's just someone staring at me. Coming up from the floor (laughs) is a monstrous, fiendish-looking creature that almost phases through the floor face-to-face with you. Hard word. Oh! Oh, you can see. damn it, Joe! You gotta stop making these guys so fuckable. <laughs> God damn it. I was say, the like, hottest man, one I'm, yet. I was gonna say, like, while I was drawing this, I'm like, God, the monster fuckers in the chat are gonna eat this up, aren't they? God damn it! We can't have anything horrifying. Uh, and um, you can have it. You can have it back if we swoon. They. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 I don't want it back. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I like your ambition. Problem. I've been watching you, and you are extremely ambitious. I like that. Good, I think. <laughs> no, bad. It's bad. Why are you here, haunting my dreams? <laughs> oh, no, no, not haunting. No, no. Following you, a fan of your work, I am. Uh, I want to help oh, you. Oh, good. I smell your ambition. It's like a stench. Mm. Just like your breath. More. Thank you. Uh, yeah, um... Uh, you've made yourself a parent, which means either you want something, and either it's my life or an action from me. I assume you're here to bargain to some degree. Yes! Am I wrong? I want to help you. I can pull strings, affect outcomes, make things go your way. You're gonna give me like a little book and I can write people's names in it? <laughs> what? No. That's very silly. Oh. Why would I do that? Yeah. I don't know. No. I've got a pretty little rock. Ooh, I like rocks. Especially the pretty kind. Yes. Yeah. What you did in the well, you take what you want. You took from that lizard folk woman, you take what you want. Oh yeah. I had a pillow once. Things I still so have soft. these slipped. <laughs> I pull out this uh, pair of slippers and a brass candle holder. Oh. I've had these for a really long time, and I don't even know what to do with them. His hands <laughs> face through the floor and clap. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm looking for. Really good Adventure Time shit. Just <laughs> this feels very What's adventure. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I helped you, yes? You agree to that? And I get something in return. What do you want? A small price. Something you'll receive, but won't expect. Uh, I, I feel like that's most of life. Can you be more specific? Give me a persuasion check. Okay. Where's that? Yes. Be high. Ooh, yes. Finally. Hmm. I have no reason not to trust you right now. Who are you going to tell? A demonologist? <laughs> oh, God. I want okay, so there's demons. You want notoriety. I want to share. Um, are you thinking like 50 50? Because that's kind of a lot. I don't know what you're offering me. Oh, all you need to do is speak a name. <sighs> and, and, and what? You'll help me? Absolutely. Or do I have to say it like three times? <laughs> like, uh, no. How, how does this work? It, Simply, when you accomplish a feat, something that will gain you reputation, say my name. My name. No, 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 no. My name. Okay, can you say it? Uh, where I come from, we have no use for names, so you have to give me That's one. That's stupid. Oh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> something pretty. Uh, what is it you call it up here? Flowers. I like those. <laughs> name me after a flower. I know, I know what to name you. Do I say it now? Is like, like, am I going to be screwed over if I say it now and I didn't do anything yet? No. Anything you're comfortable with? Begonia. <gasps> Specific. There's a, a breed I saw in a shop called Nonstop Begonias, and I thought that was really cool. <laughs> begonias. I like non -stop it. Nonstop Begonia. Nonstop Begonia. So, will it be a deal? God King word, and his hand phases through the floor to come and shake yours. <laughs> <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, can we spoon after, or are you like me? Sorry, I have a very big personal bubble. I'm not one for physical oh. affection. I can respect that. Then do you want to nod instead? You know what? I shake his hand. You shake his hand and you're going to gain an inspiration. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I look forward to your level. exploits, Scott King Word. I look forward to some of yours potentially nonstop Pagonia. <laughs> nonstop oh Pagonia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me just I have make... a stand now. <laughs> you robots <laughs> are so interesting. 
Let me just make that Cannon Burgers really quick. <laughs> his name is Nonstop, Nonstop Boogo. Boogo. Yeah. <laughs> and his, his image fades into the night. Sweet dreams. Yeah, you too. A handshake with a demon resulting in a soul binding. <laughs> It just that's reminds good, me of the nothing would you pull? bad <laughs> ever happens to Warlock. Well, that one scene. That one scene was like, would you a shake a poor sinner's hand? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Facilier, yeah. voiced by Keith David, who should be allowed to sing more often. Yeah. I, and, I, and I did a karaoke cover of it, that song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Dr. Facilier, there's a Funko Pop of... All right, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the morning comes, and uh, breakfast is not served, unfortunately. Uh, with the package deal as the business is booming right now there's a lot of people coming in for their morning routine before they head off to a busy day of work so they can't really uh, afford to give you any special treatment in the morning uh if you so wish it is going to be another two gold pieces for a morning breakfast that is going to uh kind of make your day a lot nicer but you can forego it and maybe eat your rations instead so I can. I'll pay. For, I'll pay for it. Is it oh, two gold for all it? of us? I get to shuffle my spell list. Oh. Hold on. Let me. Let me oh, say that. Let me we, say that again. Is it for all of us or from all of us? You it's for gold. all of you. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'll pay. I'll pay it. I'll pay. Yeah. It. It's yeah. kind of like a, a party meal or whatever. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You. Uh, you finish your long rest. All your HP comes back to full. All your spell slots oh, reset nice. and all your class features reset as well. All that <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yippee! <laughs> long rest. Long rest. Long rest. But. I love yippies. So <laughs> much serotonin from such a small sound. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when Norium yeah. comes to serve you food as well, she um, looks at you and just kind of uh, uh, signs and hand figures a bunch of stuff about figures walking in, implying that uh, she's asking if you're new in town. Ah. Well, yes. yes. I am God King Wood. And we are the, what is it, the saviors of Sanjia? Pilgrims, I always forget. Pilgrims, pilgrims of Sanjia. We're the, pilgrims, the pilgrims, pilgrims of Sanjia. And uh, she word. looks a little bit excited at that, and she uh, kind of makes a few gestures recommending you to go visit the fishing fishing place if you ever have any downtime, as uh, it has Ooh. a grand reopening, and it is a big, probably Politrios's very few tourist attractions that they have, as fishing in the desert is a, is a novelty, certainly, mm. um, if you have the spare time. My goodness. I want to fish. We might. <laughs> Yes, that would be interesting. Advantage. And that uh, she has a good friend there that can perhaps give you a discount. Mm. Fritz, are you like actually good at fishing? Can you use uh, your claws? I, I've done it a couple of times when we're on the boat, but that was more like flying and then grabbing them with my, my back claws. I don't know about my front ones. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because if you can carry me, then you can carry like a me-sized fish. You want me to... Tr that's a big calling. Do you know how strong those fish are? Hmm. Do you Don't underestimate a fish. <laughs> what? I hate to break it to you. <laughs> don't. Like, like, up here, like, please don't. Please don't. Please don't break it to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I rub Butter Scott's Scotch's leg with ointment. Yes, and uh, yeah, just like you do every morning. And the cart is still wrecked <laughs> although you could probably yeah. find somebody to repair it here this is the the, the land of inventors after all well, hey what's that over there is that a wrench? i have prepared the mending cantrip i would like to cast <laughs> it as many times as we need ah mending <laughs> so you are able to fix the kind of loose boards and broken pieces of wood however you can't really fix the seat and it has been completely totaled and any amount of mending is mostly just going to meld the like like molten metal, uh, not molten, but uh, a acid eaten away metal pieces that are already there, but it's not going to bring the cushion back. Yeah, the um, limit to mending is if the damage is no larger than one foot in any dimension, I can mend it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and sadly, the seat is like completely like ruined. An individual. That's cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, yes, the wrench is actually the alchemy lab. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh, there's a shipyard over there. Uh, like. That is the fishing, uh, the f fishing docks. Uh -huh. 
I'm curious oh. where, like, where they do this fishing exactly. <laughs> In the, in the river. In the Where's river. the river? <laughs> the river the is around. strewn That's all around. Blue. You can see on the map, the, the blue is the irrigation system that is uh, pumped through the hydraulic tower at the center of the town, the uh, creations so and research like facility. An, it's like an aqueduct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure how fish are getting in there. <laughs> Uh, it could be introduced. Maybe There's also magic that goes on. Yeah. They could cultivate them. Yeah, magic. They could happen. have hatcheries. So uh, it's implied that there is underground fish that uh, are oh, drawn yeah. by the life tree, uh, as the roots do bore massive tunnels and caverns underneath the ground. That uh, the roots, at least here, fill the land with water and making sure that the desert isn't completely dry. Hmm. Hence, why civilization is able to flourish here. You don't know how fish got here, Lara. You can turn into like a like a like an animal. <laughs> like, <there's> like <laughs> well, well they they figured it out. <laughs> that is not a possibility. I would like to consider for very long. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I will go as I said that I wanted to do and um, go to the temple. I don't know what you go. I, I'm gonna go to the temple. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know exactly. Like the church one. Yeah, that'd be the one. Um, the Church of Kothazong. Hmm. I'm sure that I can just sort of find a place to worship, uh, even if it's not a temple to Lady Luck or anything like that. Um, dude, we want to meet up. You guys are going to go shopping, and then we wanted to meet. I can meet you over by the shops after I'm done. Yeah, there's like a blacksmith right in the middle. We can just meet up in front of that place. That's a fair point. Maybe if there's like another sandwich shop. <laughs> Did we want to uh, check out the alchemy thing? Where the, where the so much that bad boy <laughs> is? Good, yeah, I think. Yeah, what's our actual day plan? So we're doing the worship and shopping first, and then obviously we have to meet the dragon and probably some weird bird guy. Um, <laughs> and we obviously we definitely want to go to alchemy. So mm -mm. what do we do first? Mm. Do we do alchemy first? Yeah. Oh. Okay. We can All come right. back, do the shopping, okay. and then meet up with uh, Buck I mean, because we'll be back where oh. nearby. Technically, it is shopping. It's true. Mm -hmm. Buck, did, Buck you did you want to go there? Um, that's like really far away. How long are you gonna be praying for? I, I mean, I could. I, I'll go by myself, and I'll come find you guys then, or something. It, I'm sure it yeah, will right. be that big. Although, I mean, let's just be clear. Are we fine with me being? I'm okay to be by myself. Do. I'm not holding on to a heart or anything. I just want to make sure that you guys are. We'll I know I know where you guys are. We'll either be on this side of the town or the other side. Yes, take your time. <laughs> at the latest, we'll meet you back at the end. Right. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll come find you. Great. No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. right. We've leave. split I'll the party leave. with no rendezvous point. Let's go. <laughs> I have a plan. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To the alchemy lab, then. Go slant, we're on there, bro. All right. Uh, do we want to do alchemy lab first before Buck's religion? That's fine with me. Uh, or do right. we want to do Buck's religion stuff first and then alchemy lab? Uh, Buck, Buck sounds fine. Let's do our thing first and then we can maybe meet up and shop after that. Okay. So. You go to the Alchemy Lab as given directions through the locals, and you can see that unfortunately, the Alchemy Lab, there is a sign outside that says out of stock, and you can see that there is a Warforge who is putting it up, and she is just, uh, uh, you can see there's a few customers outside, and she's just talking with a few of them, and she notices you come by, and you can see her. Uh, you can see it is a Warforge, there she is. Oh, she, she looks so cool. That's awesome. Whoa. And she speaks up. Sorry, everybody. Place is closed. We got to restock for the day. It seems like somebody came in in the middle of the night and stole some stuff. But it oh, should no. be restocked by oh. tomorrow. We've sent out a bunch of people. Uh, I'm sorry. So Y'all new folk here, hmm? Was everything stolen? No, not everything. But we have to go in and take inventory of what hasn't been. And we don't really feel comfortable selling right now. I hope that's understandable. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I can maybe keep, you know, some, I, I can take some orders perhaps and reservations if you like. Has this happened before? You don't seem 
utterly shocked by the turn of events. A few yeah, times, sadly, but they seem to happen in random intervals. We don't really know who the culprit is or who suspects. Everyone seems to trust everyone who comes by, and there's no new faces around besides yourselves, but you're not a suspect since it's been happening a little bit before y'all, much longer before y'all came here. What, uh, relief. what goes missing? Uh, usually just some unrefined ingredients. Nothing's been crushed or squeezed yet. Uh, they could easily pick it themselves. Wonder why they want to take it from us. Does this sound familiar to me? Mm -hmm. Hmm. You've had... So what What of your background... Give me a refresher. What of your background... Um, uh, uh, that, like your criminal background... <laughs> Enumerate well, your crimes, boy. Unless, unless you would prefer to crimes. keep it private. And, uh... A lot of experience with petty thievery like this, especially when it comes to, um, you know, unrefined or refined resources. Usually the unrefined are easier to pick off because people miss them less. Mm, that is true. That uh, is true. Uh, you I can... don't think I've been here before, though. No, you haven't been here, here? before. No. Perhaps you can give me... What would be a good check for this? Uh, wisdom or intelligence? Yeah, you can give me a straight intelligence uh, okay. history if you prefer. Uh, uh, they're both nothing. All right. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, oh. And your score is plus zero. So whoever yeah. this is, yeah, they typical thieving rules of like they suspect they'll not miss it that much. And it seems as though they're right as, um, you know, it, they're able to get away with it over and over again. You know, it's a very amateurish tactic uh but you do know from gleaning this whatever it is that uh whatever petty thieves the security on this place is extremely low that they're able to get away with this again and again yeah. huh well if we stay in for how often does this happen uh, random intervals but uh, usually once a month yeah well that's what time of the month up. we're not sure Every time we think we're due, and then they hit us right immediately after the other one. Every time we think they're going to come right next, they wait maybe even longer. Hmm. It's very disconcerting. Uh, but that's yeah. not y'all's concern. Uh, I'm sorry. If you want, here, uh, she hands you a sheet of kind of various generic potions you can reserve these. I'll give you half off for them. Uh, any of the more special stuff that we'll have to make, I'm sorry. The, we're going to have to charge the regular price, but, you know, typical health potions, mana potions, all that stuff. Half off. Sorry for the inconvenience. Of course. Okay, well. Uh... So now you know that there is some kind of petty thief throughout uh, thieving, stealing ingredients in uh, Politrios. Yes. Mm. Consistently. <laughs> Planedly random. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I'm pretty good on the potions front, uh, but if you guys want to place an order. Uh, I am not good with remembering when to come back to places. Uh, that's a fair point. <laughs> Well, uh, but I'll take you up on that that 50% off if we do come back when you do have stock otherwise uh, I gotta buy other things very well we hope to see you tomorrow sorry again <laughs> oh that's only tomorrow alright uh, does every town have a thief? <laughs> usually yeah typically more than one hmm All right. Well, if, if we see anything moving forward, I guess we can make a note of it. But um, yes, we'll keep an eye out. I kind of don't. I did yeah. want to buy something in particular, actually. Oh, oh from here? I want to see if I can get like a, a gold anklet or something. <clears throat> oh, that'll Ooh. be at the main shop. Yes, that probably won't be here. All right. Shall we head back to the general store? You yeah. may. And uh, we can hop over to Buck. Yeah. Uh, before we do that, and Buck, you head inside the Church of Kothazung, the builder. You can see it's fairly barren. This is not a uh, the time of day where people seem to practice or pray. But inside, you do see a warforge, another warforge. This place is very highly populated in them. And um, 
he kind of gives you a little bow. May the builder lead you to prosperity. Welcome to the Church of Kothazon. My name is Spade. Is there anything I can help you with? You can see that he is wearing kind of a large oh. poncho and a fancy brimmed hat. And you can see that he's wearing what seem to be ceremonial robes and poncho of some kind. He looks so cool. You have to have a <laughs> he, looks, he looks so cool. We have Kim, we have similar hats. Stop putting yes. stink lines around my board. <laughs> <laughs> you got similar hats and ponchos. It's I destiny. Know. Um. Yeah, these, this is what uh, priests look like in this universe. They have a, you have to have a cool hat and a poncho. All the religious um, guys we've met so far have worn this. <laughs> All the non-hostile um, ones. Mm. Yeah. Um, Not the turtle pope, though. No, my name is um, my name is Buck, and I, I guess I'm not as familiar with the builder um, as I should be. I was wondering if this would be an appropriate place for me to do some worship of a god that isn't the builder. I don't know if that would be appropriate. Oh, here. by all means, go ahead, friend. We don't discriminate here. Even some who pray to Agleithan, the destroyer. Sometimes you just kind of let things be, you know. Do you get a lot of that type who pray to But Agleithan? I've had one or two. Oftentimes, uh, the teachings of Kothazung teach us about progress and open-mindedness. I like to think that there's some place they're coming from that they would worship such a destructive god. Well, I, I appreciate it. Um, I'll uh, if if you don't mind me asking, um, how did you come to, how did you come to work here? Hmm. Well, I was a worker unit. Uh, first thing I saw was a spade, hence the name. And so, in order to seek my place in this new realm and existence, I learned about religion and prosperity and self uh, realization and the builder seemed the one that spoke to me the most progress learning your place civilization all that good stuff sounded good to me and exactly what i was looking for and i'm happy i found it all right well uh, I, I i appreciate it i won't take up any more of your time um and then i'll uh, I'll walk over to like I don't know if there's like pews. I don't know if you said that. If like, yeah, there's a place. is like, there like a lot of people or like? No, not a lot of people. This seems to be uh, like everyone's done with their worship. Uh, if you were had a good eye, you would have caught them just leaving. They they seem to kind of mm. come get it uh, done and over with. Um, in fact, what's your religion score? <laughs> My religion score is minus one. Minus one. <laughs> Never mind. Then you wouldn't have hey. further insight about. Only the uh, intervention Kothism. of Lady Luck can save you now. <laughs> Look, it's an intelligence skill. Uh, it's, it doesn't have to do with how faithful I am. It's okay. Just, well, uh, that, well, that is what you did notice: is that everyone yeah. seemed to be quick in and quick out of the Church of Kothazong. Mm hmm. Whatever that may uh, mean, you may come to your own conclusions on that. Or ask. sure, sure. Um, I guess I'll just if there, I don't know if there's like a a, a designated place where I yeah, can go. If you I'm not for there's like you can think of it as like your more traditional Christian like church with the the usual uh, placements of stuff. Okay. You can tell I'm I, very religion. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, I will assume there is a pew that I can sit in and uh, kneel down, and I will just um, like take out. Um, not the all or nothing coin, but just like a regular gold piece that I have. And, um, I will just like flip it a couple of times. Um, and as I'm flipping it, uh, like, uh, just kind of looking at like where, like where it's landing, like heads or tails. I'm not really necessarily looking for any sort of pattern. Um, it just helps me relax. Um, dearest lady. I am making a plea once again to watch over us on our journey. We have been beset by, uh, apparently, some fairly nefarious forces. And I want to ensure that myself and my compatriots are looked after on this, on this journey. I don't know to what extent you are watching over us, but I feel as though we've been pretty lucky so far to get out of everything we've encountered mostly unscathed and so to the extent that you can continue to watch over us as i had promised in the past this is all i ask of you is that you 
get us through this journey as relatively unharmed as you see fit to do. Um, and I will ensure that whatever it is that I walk away from this from will be paid back to you in full. Um, and then I will, I guess that will be the end of sort of my, my prayer, my worship, and I'll get up. Um, and I'll, I'll stop in Builder, if Builder, if you're there as well, um, it's, uh, what was the name of the Builder God again? Does he have a, he have a name? Uthazong, let me write it. Uthazong, yeah. Do, 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 do. I had too many tabs open. Mm -hmm. mm, boop. Uh, and if anyone has watched um, Necrohunt, this is the renamed version of a uh, the what, what's the D and D god name? That's basically the, the builder and innovator or whatever. Ethi, uh, Eth I don't remember the one that Enoch prayed to. This is that. It's been renamed. Erethus. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah. This Arithus. is Erethus uh, and Necrohunt is Kothasong in in Alinthi. Gotcha. Um, and Kothasong, if you're li listening, uh. Thanks for letting us, thanks for allowing me to pray here. Um, I'll take out, like, uh, five gold pieces, I guess, and then I'll walk up to Spade. I'll be like, here, just a, a donation from me to you. I appreciate the time. He bows and uh, takes it and is about to put it uh, in kind of his pocket before he stops uh, and just looks up at you. Uh... Uh, it's not my place to ask, and by all means, uh, feel free to decline answering, but um, I apologize. I couldn't help it over here. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. You happen to pray to Lady Luck? Yeah, that's that's correct. I, I mean no judgment by this, but um, could you tell me why? He's not exactly part of the traditional pantheon. Uh, not that I'm judging or nothing. We accept all forms of uh, practice here. It's just merely curious. I think you're the first one who's ever prayed to her. Um. Well, <laughs> let's just say it's it's. It, I've had a long and uh, let, let's use a word that the that Kothazung might use industrious career, and I have I found through most of it that. Uh, Luck um, was something that I was always lacking, and when the time came and I finally found, I guess, what I was looking for in Lady Luck, I think things just kind of felt right, and um, after that moment, I, I guess you could say I was imbued with a certain sort of a... a a, a ability from what I took to be her favor um and I guess ever since then that feeling that I've felt I've just kind of been chasing that and uh one place to another one person to another trying to I guess that's the best way I could put it is testing my luck out wherever I could she was good to me once, and I, I guess I was kind of always hoping that throughout my life she'd be good to me again. Well, far be it from me to judge. As a man of the cloth, I always understand that sometimes you need something to believe in. Even if it's not a part of the traditional pantheon, whatever gets you through the day, I think that's something worth believing in. And I think you found it. I think that's respectable. Well, and I appreciate that. I guess while we're on the subject, can I ask you, you're, uh, you know... I can't imagine what it must have been like to awake from being, or wake into being, uh, with the personality you have now. I mean, certainly that must have been, I would assume, the formative moment of your life. Not exactly. Uh, what is it, the organics? Uh, do you remember being born? <laughs> uh, let me think. Um, no. I don't remember being born. From what I understand, the phenomenon is similar. It's vague and strange, and you don't quite remember all of it. You get flashes of memories. It's kind of like that. Except, I guess, fully grown. Well, I mean, certainly there had to come a time where you made a choice and decided that this was your calling. I mean, did you have a moment like that? Oh, absolutely. 
I think it was maybe 12 years after my awakening, I started my journey of self-discovery. Started walking all around Alinti. Didn't quite know until I met a young, uh, an older man, seemed humanoid of some kind, and he taught me kind of this path. Taught me about Kothazung, and uh, taught me how to be a good shot as well. Hmm. I don't know if that's a reference to... <laughs> that makes... Okay. Um, dude, uh... And let me ask, since we're... I mean, did you... Was there any ever a point where you felt as though Kothazung had kind of reached out and 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 touched you specifically? That there was some sort of divine influence that was released into this material world to where you could say to yourself, "This this is something special that I need to be involved with." Was there ever a moment like that for you? Oh. Well, if it ever was, could we really call it faith? I mean, I'd, I'd like to think that you still could. I mean, I'm sure even if something like that were to happen, there'd still be things you couldn't explain. Perhaps. Right? I'd like to think that it was, but the man who taught me how to shoot, he also taught me to that healthy amount of skepticism can be good. You never know when things might just be playing tricks on you. Hmm. Well, um, I, I, I guess the more that I think about it, it, it is a test of faith to keep on going the way that we've been. Guys like you and me, people like you and me are, are going, but it's nice to hold on to that faith, I guess, in certain respects. I'd like to ask you a question. Yeah, that's, that's all you're doing all this faith is for some kind of payoff. Do you really think you're doing it for the right reason? Uh, uh, well, that's something for you to answer. You don't got to answer right now. Well, I'll answer it for you so I can be a little bit clear because I know that you see the I know you can look at the four leaf clover and you see the deck of cards and the flipping of the coin. But I'd not been worshiping Lady Luck just because I'm hoping to strike it rich in a some sort of card game or something like that. I'm not trying to just hit it hit it big and and, and go home or anything like that. It's that's not why it is that And is that your end goal, son? Say you do. Say you meet this Lady Luck and all you've done, all your prayers have paid off. Then what is there left? That's not something you have to answer right now. It took me many summers before I found mine. See, our faith sometimes don't always pay off, but it's not supposed to be a reward that you work for. It's supposed to be an ideal that you strive with, something you stand by, something that guides you. Sometimes it doesn't always equal to some kind of reward. But ways I see it, long as it is following your faith and making your conscience clean and doing what you think is right, that's all the payoff that's needed. You have a, a, a good day, Mr. Spade. It was nice to meet you. You as well, son. And I'm, I'm gonna leave. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you an inspiration for that. Yeah! Do -do -do. Some deep thought um. and uh, consideration about your faith and what it means to follow Lady Luck and where you are now. I walk out and I close the door and I slide down the door slowly, breathing extremely. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I also really appreciate whichever one of you was who removed the flies and some of the stink lines when, this, when the conversation got more intense. Oh, that was me. <laughs> Felt appropriate. <laughs> yeah, we can go back to Stinky. Uh, I will, I guess I will, oh man, uh, Buck will sort of collect himself and walk out um, and kind of like take the hat off and kind of look over. It, do I see, do I, do I see Word or Lyra and Fritz? Like, yeah, are, they're, are they they're pretty sight? easy to spot. It's a fairly flat land with not a lot of like fawn art buildings in the way, especially where you are. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, you can spot them. And even if you couldn't, you can guide your way over to the markets if you so wish you know I, where they are. I, 
I guess it's because of cinematic and some of the things that Spade said. What I'd like to do is just kind of like, I'd walk out, kind of take my hat off, um, and like look, kind of like roll the brim of it in my hands a little bit. Um, and then I will look over and I will see Word and Lyra and Fritz. I imagine just involved in their general tomfoolery. <clears throat> and then I'll smile a little bit and I'll re kind of adjust the four leaf clover and put the hat back on my head and I'll make my way towards them. Yeah. Okay. All right. So to no, the general two buckets, goods. one gold or... is too expensive. <laughs> Just fighting with. <laughs> yeah, you're haggling over somebody, and while you're haggling and fighting and talking and browsing, you hear a familiar, loud, obnoxious voice. Oh my gosh! Is that the pilgrim from Satya? Oh no. You see a very disheveled. Tabaxi man with a massive backpack behind him laying on kind of a laid out carpet with a bunch of goods around him. It's No Tail. No Tail! Our best friend. (laughs) Hey there, I knew I'd find you in one of the other big towns. You got more money now that you did some stuff, yeah? Perhaps. (laughs) Well, I got new stock if you want to see. Ooh. And he does uh, enchanted tomatoes, um, shackle shot crossbow bolts, uh, cloak. No, the uh, bag of beans. I think that's a new one. Heart of the sleeveless soul ring and hasty sugar bombs. Ooh, I'm eyeing those oh hasty sugar bombs. Bag of beans. Bag of beans. So you're gonna buy the hasty sugar bombs? How many are you buying? Uh, oh, there's, there are 15 gold pieces each. How many are there? <laughs> uh, there's five total. So that is 60. If you want to buy all of them. Mm, I will buy f- three of them. Three. All right. That's going to be 45. And yeah. you get the hasty sugar bomb. And this is the actual description. Huh. And this is a an item from the Griffin Saddlebag. Thank you for Griffin Saddlebag for the... Uh, I, I've been going through the, the magic item cards. That's also where Smash Potatoes comes from. Mm-hmm. Nice. So yes, uh, oh, there are also general goods, like anything you could possibly like want to find that is not wondrous or, or magical, aside from no tail stock, you could probably find. So if you're like looking for... Uh, Fritz, you were looking for something specific? Yeah, I wanted like uh, a, a like a gold like bracelet anklet thing. Hmm. Okay. Just he some some typical jewelry. Here. Just some fancy jewelry. That that'll be like. Mm, so just like a simple like band. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just a simple band. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll grab that three gold pieces and then ten gold. And if anyone remembers, yeah. the stick of stickiness was five gold before it has discounted in price oh, oh that I makes me sh- more nervous for what it's i was gonna doing. grab that i was gonna I, I i was also considering grabbing it <laughs> do you want me to grab it or do you want to grab it you can grab it i won't stop can you can i get the I, stick of me. stickiness which is two gold right yep two gold pieces and as you buy it you hand the gold to him uh and no tail just like oh, I, carefully I one more thing. carefully picks it up with two little fingers just by his little like uh very unkempt claws. Ooh, be careful. This is a mighty powerful relic. Uh, it looks like a nice stick. Ooh, it might look that way, but I hear rumors, whispers of this thing coming from another world, that its powers are unknown, its potency even more so. Have fun! Okay, uh, and can I also buy three of the shackle shot crossbow bolts? So I think 35 gold in total, right? Uh, 32, I think. Oh, wait, uh, the band, yes, no, 35, uh, 35 yeah, yes, band. for everything that you have bought, yes. Shackle, shackle shot crossbow, I think you might like these. Um, let me just find How the description for them. Inventory. Here, I will put the description right there. There we go. Shackle shot crossbow bolts. Uh, basically, if you fire something and there's someone directly in the same, like, line 
of firing that behind them in like within 15 feet, they are both uh, grappled. Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh, they make a strength saving throw and or and and are both grappled if they fail. So it's like a double grapple within 15 feet. Double grapple. Double grapple. Double grapple. Okay, I'm just adding that in. Uh, and then the stick of stickiness, right? The stick of stickiness. For all intents and purposes, I... you're looking at it, you're checking no it idea out. What it, does. it just looks like a normal stick. Cool. And then I'm I'm gonna get the like anklet and I like put it on and I'm like, oh I'm like move my foot like it look pretty. Ooh, that looks snazzy! <laughs> Want you some jewelry? I don't have any. <laughs> yeah. That's me done. Alright. Layra, word? Uh, Anything you guys want to buy? Word, you were looking for some more oil bomb flasks. Yeah, I was looking for a couple things, but I'm interested in this bag of beans. Bag of beans. What, what I no was also worried about, about the it. bag of beans. Yeah. <laughs> what can you tell me about these bad boys? Hmm. Well, they're bad, and they're full of beans. <laughs> mm. You can give me a persuasion check to see if you can get more out of them. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I was right. I can't roll. <laughs> Constant fours. And mm. here's a secret. It's full it's of beans. multiple beans. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can I perhaps count the beans within the bag? Oh, I would not take the beans out of the bag. Mm. I'm going to say you can roll one more persuasion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For this haggle, for uh, this, this is somewhat haggling. Mm. How about you just take my word for it? There are yeah, like... eight beans in the bag. That is a lot of beans. Joe, is there any chance that I have heard of the bag of beans item before? You can give me a, an arcana check to see if you can recall any memory of some kind of oh, magical boy. item you've read about. It's a raw int check for me. Fifteen. You know that the bag of beans is a magical item of which case the beans will do random things from perhaps mm. summoning a creature to summoning something useful or dangerous or food or just a regular oh. bean. Mm. All right. You can I do any a number of things. Imperative that word not know this. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy this bag of roughly eight beans for 50 gold and this pair of slippers. Ooh, what are the slippers? <laughs> They're just slippers I stole from way back in um, Satya. Uh, improvise, adapt. Hmm, 60. Hmm, 55. Nope, 60 is the lowest I'm going. <laughs> 59 and one silver. Hmm. He looks you over. <laughs> 59! And a few strands of that little tuft on your jacket. Mm. You're not gonna curse me, are you? Curse you? No! I'm worried that you might curse me. I'm worried that jacket might be cursed. And that's good merchandise. That's fair. Take them. All right, he plucks just a few strands off of your, your little floof on the top of your jacket. No one's even going to notice. And he gives you the bag of beans for beans, 59 yeah, gold. gold pieces. And here is the link to the actual bag of beans in D&D Beyond. Oh, it's an actual boy. official D&D item. And I, it has eight of them? Eight, yes. Okay. Cool. Then, yeah, just some basic items. If, should I run through those real quick, too? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like more ball bearings, more oil, and a container for um, putting on the cart when it's fixed. Let's see. Just like a chest or something. God, I don't know what the prices of all of these are. Um, would you be able to, I, I, like, calculate, find, like, what the prices for those are? They're probably pretty yeah, cheap. Yeah, I've got it roughly, roughly open, open here. here. It's, it's like, like one silver per thing of oil. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then what was the other one? Ball bearings is a gold. Yeah, I, I trust then, you to, to, to okay, subtract the proper. Yeah, I know yeah. you're not going to, like, uh, Monopoly bank this, like. A chest, like a storage Locked chest. Probably expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How, what do we have on the cart right now? Oh, you've it's got like plenty of storage on, on the cart. Oh, like, oh, okay. It's enough yeah, to hold, I think, 400 pounds of items. 
Yeah. Or okay. something like no that. I don't remember what I actually wrote. Drop five gold and get some, like, at least five of each of the other mm -hmm. items. And that's if I didn't me. write down, I'll, I'll, I'll put the information. Um, yeah. Let's see the cart. Oh God, this description. Yeah. All right. Such a bad idea. I didn't. I didn't put in what's in the uh, what the cart can hold, but I'll, I'll write. The, I'll write it down. Cool. And Layra, Layra Buck. Anything you guys are buying? Uh, I'll just get the candies. I don't think I need anything else. Okay. Oh that. yeah, you you bought the candies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Layra. I can't really use any of these things except for the things that require three times as much money as I have. Uh, so I think I'm good for now. Okay. And I will say, in, ca in case there's anything here that you uh, do still want to maybe save up money for, the next time you re revisit No Tail, he will still have the same stock, and anything that you have bought from him will be uh, renewed with something else. So if there's anything you have your eye on, don't worry, it's not going to go away. All right. No Tail gives you a little very unkempt bow, like he has not practiced it at all. Thank you for your patronage. Anytime. Yeah. So, I how goes like... the travels? Actually, good. We, uh, you know, we're getting everything done everywhere we want to be. Uh, I think. Are yes, we making well. a difference? Hmm. Well, I haven't visited those places you've been yet, but I'd like to think so. Your adventure types always fascinate me. We are doing very well. <laughs> Well, get out of here. You're taking up lines for my customers. <laughs> I've got other things to buy. I like shake my fist at him. You can see that there's absolutely nobody behind you waiting for <laughs> no tail stock. We get out of their way. Yeah, let's scooch. <laughs> scooch. Um, I will say anything else aside from no tail is just general goods that you can find uh, in that is not wondrous or uh, uncommon that you can just generally buy. I just don't want to put the entire D&D &D, you know, compendium yeah. in here. Um, you guys wanted to visit the smith, yeah? Yeah, why not? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, yeah, the smith is run by a pretty hefty human man with hot, a hot, kind hot. of uh, red hair and uh, just your typical blacksmith's apron. His name is Marcus, and he has your typical uh, services to upgrade weapons and stuff. Huh. And Oh, it's not showing. Hold on. It's available only to the DM. Boop. Ah. He's got uh, very similar services provided uh, from the other smith in uh, Nubus Sky. Upgrade weapon, add weapon skill, add armor skill, etc. He looks very friendly. He does. He is. I do not have anything that I want. Uh, yeah. I don't have enough money to upgrade a weapon, even if I do. Me too. I am Gosh. broke. <laughs> I just bought a big old bag of beans. Well, it's a good thing the rest of the I town is still I spent all my money on beans. I spent all my money on beans. I spent my money on beans. Well, uh, we don't want anything you have, Marcus. <laughs> 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 oh, no, well, that's a shame. But uh, if, you do, if you ever do any more jobs and uh, you get more money and you want to spend it here, I'd be happy to fix up your weapons. Oh, I love him. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. You're among the best of us. Oh, no, I, I'm can just I... helping out where their service is needed. So he is a smithy. Does he have, like, any small objects, like belt buckles or small pieces of jewelry? Maybe? Yes, he does. He, You can see that he's got some real... He's got some ruined bands. Like, he's been trying his uh, mm. hand at some uh, goldsmithing to make jewelry. He is wearing them on his fingers, but they're, like, bad. <laughs> um, huh. Okay. Yeah, you know, just like how a tattoo artist would practice tattoos on themselves, and sometimes they're bad. Uh, yeah, I'll, hmm. I'll point at like the most scrungly ring that he has. The most scrungly one. Are you trying to steal it? No, no, I'm gonna just buy it off of him. Oh, like buy a... it off of him. Oh no, this one. You can have this one. This one's practice. Boy, go ahead. I make tons exactly. of these. I make about a dozen a day, trying to get them right. It, what's it made of? Just brass? Uh, it's actually just made of iron. Okay, I'll take that. the iron Heck ring. Yeah. You can add yeah. ruined Scrungly iron ring iron to your inventory. Okay. Scrungly iron ring. To your <laughs> Scrungly <inventory>. iron <laughs> ring. Oh no, my slippers. Wait, I still have those. 
Um, yeah, I've been trying to make something special for the old, old dragon up there. You know, he did me a good one back in the day and uh, trying to repay him back. Oh. Yeah, how, how is the dragon, by the way? Oh, he's real friendly. You know, uh, really hard to get on his bad side. And like, good to know. fighting wise, I mean, is, I mean. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Real he, strong or? He not much likes to show his dragon form. It tries to keep it close to the chest, you know, something about uh, protection through information, something like that. Hmm. We just trust him. We we don't try to pry too much. You know, he's been doing pretty good so far. He practically built this place, not all by himself, but he, he kind of led the charge, you know. Is he one of the oldest dragons? Oh, well, he's pretty old, something near a hundred. That's, is that, is that old? Well, yes. well in human, human years, yeah. I don't know how, mu how much long kobolds live for. Oh, enough. <laughs> we, we <laughs> what what do you mean? Long enough. Let's say if, <laughs> if he was human, he'd be approaching the grave. But as Warforged, we don't really know how long uh, they last for. Most of them lock hmm. up and uh, kind of find some form of mortality, but we ain't so sure yet. He's still going strong, though. And it's good thing, too. Settling. He keeps this place running. That yeah, right. Sounds like a good old boy. Are yes. we on our way to him? Yes, I believe so. Oh, right. you're going to see the dragon himself. Well, good. Get luck getting through the door. Th thank you. Wait, what? What? Is it difficult? Oh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> the uh, creation uh, and uh, research place. Yeah, that, that thing is high security. Hmm. Hmm. That's a problem. Well, we got a card to get. I mean, we got. We know people on the inside, don't we? Right? No! No! <laughs> Word, no! <laughs> what? No, no, sorry. I was. It was like That's the amount, amount that I, uh, I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah. out the amount. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't have to uh, roll for that. Uh, I, I rolled it already yeah, when. Um, I got you. I'm just trying to put it in. Oh, the I see. You're trying to put it in your inventory. I see, I see. I see. I'm just changing the name. We're good. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, it was nice meeting you, Marcus. We'll uh, see you later. Truly a pleasure. Yes. He waves you goodbye, and you may head into the uh, da, 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 the Research and Creation Center, it's called, shortened to the RNC. Hmm. All right, yeah. Or you could go to the official building. Uh, this this the is the is RNC. Is this is the Lord's the Offices. And that's also oh. where Astropio is. Yep. Okay. Astropio is... Um, actually, Astropio said uh, that he was in the Lord's offices. Oh. Uh, which, I mean, you, you were going for before, which, yeah. 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 So we are going to the Lord's office. Uh, yes. Wait. If you so wish. Probably, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll follow you. Okay. We're, get over. You're going on the wrong yeah. way. <laughs> Down. It looked very inviting. <laughs> um... While we're walking, I want to, uh, I'm gonna give Fr I'm gonna say, uh, Fritz, I uh, here. I thought you might like this, and I give her one of the um, hasty sugar bombs. Oh boy, what is it? What do you mean it's candy? Oh. I they thought it, it, they like they like eat it and like thanks. It's sweet. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I guess after all the time that you've brought me, you know, sweets and whatnot back in Satya, I, I guess now you know my ex-wife was working for the store I was ordering from, so figured I'd repay the favor a little bit. I'd give her. But I wouldn't eat it right now because I think it might have magical properties that might help us <laughs> later, so I, I wouldn't. Oh, I, would... I thought it was just general candy. Okay. They like yeah, they out. Yeah, they're. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, they're oh, like lollipops. Of movement. They're, they're lollipops that, and they're. Uh, Joe put them in the thing. They're, uh, they give you extra movement speed for an hour. Um, oh, okay. You... Yeah. I like take it out and I'm like, oops, and I put it back in the wrapper. Hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you. Maybe it tastes sweeter because you gave it to me. I very much appreciate that. Uh, it's no problem. I uh, just figured that you might like it. <sighs> I do. Thank you. Now let's get this so, over with. So, yeah, that was also kind of where I was going with this. Um, are you sure you're going to be good to 
see your dad? I it's mean... not your dad. It's not your dad. It's not your dad. Sorry. Your biological father. For all your intents and purposes, um, he's just another person we met on this adventure. Who happens to be a mint-flavored bud. Right. I know that's kind of where we're going with this, and I know I've said this before, but like we, we can address, you can address the fact that he's your biological father with him, right? Like, you don't have to treat him just... You do whatever you want. I just want to make sure that you understand that. Do you want me to treat him like a dad, Buck? No, that's... I'm not saying you treat him like a dad. I'm just saying you can... If you wanted to... I just think it might be helpful for you to maybe have a conversation with him, because it seems like that might be something that might be helpful to, like, clear some things up if you were wondering... Um. I'll talk to him, you, but you don't I'm have not, to talk to him. I'm not interested to. in him. I'm more. I I guess I want to know how it came to be, but Buck, if I'm going to say this bluntly, and don't tell anyone else I said this, I don't give a fuck about him. And I do not blame you one bit for not having any strong feelings for a man who I mean I don't even know if he abandoned you I really don't understand what the situation was because it seems like he uh, knew all I know is I was left on a dock alone as a kid and Dozen and all the kind sailors took me in and gave me work and food and there you're yeah right right I'm curious about my mum that's someone who was never known, mentioned. But I I feel uncomfortable having not having this. Well, I guess I'm uncomfortable having this conversation without Dozen here, because apparently he has a bigger part than I thought he did. Well, we'll we'll go back to Dozen when this is all over, and you can clear some things up. But I just don't. I know that we may not get this opportunity again for you to have this conversation. And I'm just worried that I don't want to leave from here if you, with you regretting something that you might have wanted to say. That's would it, all. Would it upset Dozen if I was curious? I, I don't think it would. I don't think it would upset Dozen if you were to, no. I can't, I literally can't, cannot imagine that that would be the case. Just think, just think about it. I mean, just en enjoy the candy and just think about it. And if you don't want to, then you don't have to. And, and, and to be frank, if if you ask Word to to kill him, I, I think Word might do it if it comes. To, I mean, he's <laughs> sort of a loose cannon. Uh, I, ooh, you seem I, to have more evil intentions than I do. But no, that's not that's not my intention. I'm cross just, my mind. Sometimes I just get worried about what word might do. So I just want that to, to speak that I don't know what he's capable of. Buck Maybe trying to be a dad. I... It's like, uh, you seem uncomfortable around him. Should we kill him? <laughs> Your uncle uh, knows how to use a knife. He's not going to kill for you. Buck. Uh, it's not me that wants to hurt him. I think him. you I'm, should worry not... more about Lyra. I don't know how she's going to react to this. To, to what? Me and Lyra are always the orphans. It's why we've stuck together. And now, suddenly, my dad appears. She's... I don't know how she'd feel about it, you know? Have you talked to her about how she might feel about it? I'm kind of scared. What if we're not as good friends anymore? We, like, shared trauma. And now... Ugh. This seems like additional trauma that you might be able to share given the way things have been going, but to be frank, I think I get the sense that Lyra sees you as a friend, and I think That's maybe the she would- I, I see her like a sister, like she's family, Dozen's family, and then someone who's apparently my biological family shows up. I'm, I'm worried how this person will affect the people I consider family. I think, and I'm, maybe I'm speaking out of turn here, but maybe that's all the more reason that 
you should talk to her about how you feel about this. Because I, 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 get, the, I get the sense that she, you two care about each other a great deal, and I'm like almost, uh, and you know me to be a betting man, I would bet almost anything she would more appreciate you talking to her about this first rather than talking to me about it. I'll see how the conversation goes with him. That's fine. I'm just saying, That's fine. if she tries to scratch his eyes out, stop. Just, ah, <laughs> stop her. <laughs> right. I will be on don't let our party members kill your dad. We need him for this journey. Yeah. This journey I'll means more to me than a sub dead sure. beat. <laughs> What's this about killing someone's dad? Nothing word, nothing happened. It just, <laughs> no. You misheard it something, I think. Yeah, I thought I saw like a really tall duck over there and I asked someone what it was and they said egret and I think that means idiot. So No, no, no. What you heard was <laughs> what you heard was kill the bad. We were talking about the blot. Kill the all. bad. Yeah, kill Is the it bad. bad. There might be a bad, so we got to keep our eyes out. So why don't you look forward and kind of keep Very your attention well focused mm -hmm. forward cuz you're sort of our most perceptive member. Absolutely. Right. I what? saw that duck. <laughs> right, you did. You really <laughs> 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 you, re <laughs> you were able to <laughs> All right, this I'll, guy! Yeah, we'll keep going forward. Just walking like a full 10 feet ahead of everyone else. <laughs> like, how do I convince Word to never ever open that bag of beans? <laughs> how do I convince him to maybe give me the bag of beans for safekeeping? <laughs> the word beans is like rattling around your head. Beans, beans, beans. Beans, yeah. beans, beans. For some reason I slept weird last night, so my brain's just like rolling the word beans around in its head. <laughs> Nothing else is going on in there right now. I, I think had it's a fun. really weird Nothing dream last night. Yeah, word, word had a conversation with like a literal demon and Labor's like, the beans are gonna be the end of him. <laughs> we have to I'm save a whole him bag of trouble more than beans. <laughs> I'll give Fritz like a little pat on the head and then uh, we'll, we'll walk forward. Okay. You walk into the Lord's office. Uh, you show your card to whatever guards are nearby and they lead you to Astropio's uh, facility. And um, you can see uh, kind of past, he's got like a, a uh, what's it called? A, the foggy like window, the, what's it called? Crystal window or whatever. Frosted glass? Yeah, crystal Frosted glass, glass, that's it. And you can you see right. that he, uh, the silhouette of him kind of pacing back and forth. It seems as though there's nobody else in the room. Astropio is. Astropio, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Astropio is. You can clearly see that it's his silhouette. He's wearing the same jacket and his kind of aracocra feathers are, are frilled in the same kind of spiky way. We can wait and listen if he speaks out loud to himself. <laughs> if you would like. Anyone want to eavesdrop? Like yeah, you, let's eavesdrop. I'm curious. <laughs> Is there a place where you guys could eavesdrop while one of us actually goes in and talks to him, or? Well, we're no. I want to see Haven't if he's we tried this strategy we before? Yeah. <laughs> we tried this strategy on the on the oh. witch. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Uh, you can whoever wishes to, give me a perception with advantage. What were you trying to eavesdrop? Uh, Are we both eavesdropping? <laughs> I'm definitely I eavesdropping. Okay. I will oh, like come on. Do I was right. Uh, I did say I wouldn't roll well this game. Was it perception you said? Yes, with, with advantage. advantage. All right. Oh, uh, you can roll another oh. one to see if you crit succeed. Damn, 5%. Okay, 19 is still pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. So you lean in. Now, are you guys I trying to do this stealthily? Now, his yeah. the office doorway is in the middle of a hallway. Um, that people will walk through sometimes. Yeah, I think in the vein of like socially stealthy, where we're just kind of like leaning up against the wall. Okay, you can give me. I'm like pretending I've got a headache. Whoever so wishes can 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 roll for the entire party a performance with advantage. Oh boy, mine's two. Uh, mine's plus one. Mine's also plus two, actually. You guys right. are more charismatic than me. So you're all acting together. Hey. One person will get to roll at advantage because you're all helping each other. That, I'll do it. That okay. I'll try and like casually though. start a conversation <laughs> with someone which might interrupt my listening. <laughs> all right. You're able bad. to act it out reasonably well, just kind of feigning whispers with each other while uh, Fritz listen in, uh, listens in on her dad. And you can hear that he, it sounds as though he's rehearsing. Uh, oh. Hello. 
f uh, you go by Fritz now. That's that's nice. Uh, you found your own name. That's good. No, that's stupid. Mm. Uh, oh no. You are all grown up. Uh, well done. Uh, good good job. No. Uh, I didn't want to tell you this, not because I didn't think you were ready, but because I wasn't ready, and I, I wasn't... Oh, and then he, you see his silhouette just, like, sit in his chair. How do you tell someone you couldn't take care of them? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Koth is I'm gonna strength. indicate yeah, like I, I want to knock on the door, and if nobody objects, yeah. I'm gonna knock on the door. I'll nod. I wasn't yeah. listening. You see Step the silhouette just like dart up and uh, sit back in the chair, and you can see that he's kind of like adjusting some things. You can't quite tell, uh, but he, uh, you hear his muffled voice, "Come in." Let's mm. go in. And you walk on in, you can see that he's sitting in a big leather chair. You can see that there's papers everywhere. It seems as though he's been putting off a bit of work. There's some kind of um, books on the floor. And as he walks in, he finally does notice, oh, I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. Uh, my, uh, my office is not usually this messy. I just, uh, I, I, I booked the entire day just in case uh, you needed my attention and uh, made yeah. sure to, to clear my schedule. Uh, you need access into uh, the... A research and creation center, yes? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Someone said there was like a big door that we had to get past. Uh, not quite the door. The guards will stop you before then. Uh, uh, if you could uh, stand still for me. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, no. He <laughs> takes his hand and he kind of writes some arcane sigils in the air in front of him. One for each of you. And then he just kind of uh, gestures over to them. Uh if you could take these sigils to mark your approval to wander the RNC, as well as agree to paying a portion of any potential damages uh, that the inventions uh, of yours that you may create in there may cause to the building. Uh, apologies, it's just procedure. We can't let anyone in there or else uh, we might get another situation on our hands. Just between you and me, are there any like loopholes to this contract? <laughs> he squints his eyes. I don't know if I want to answer that question. <laughs> So there I'll, is. I'll take Ask my a lawyer if there is any. Me, 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 <laughs> me, me, me as a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. He does that lawyer thing where, like, at the end of every exchange, is like, this is not official legal advice. I am not liable for anything bad that happens to you. That is, that is not my place of expertise. Well, shoot. <laughs> I guess I won't invent anything too explosive or crazy. He he just squints his eyes. He puts one kind of uh, two fingers up to his ear. You can tell he's casting sending, and he just whispers something under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> While he's looking at you, word oh, sending. <laughs> I cast I cast message on him. <laughs> no, word, no. I am extremely trustworthy. <laughs> That's the most untrustworthy I've ever heard. <laughs> oh boy. You are definitely right. an interesting Sachin. As are all incredible inventors. Yes. Um, well. well, very good. Those sigils should allow you in. Um, welcome to the research and creations facility. And I presume that will be all. Thank you. Unless for there's service. anything else we need to know about the dragon before we enter? Uh, yes, Sergei is very, very friendly. Uh, he, you'll get used to him in no time at all. Uh, he has that way with people. Um, perhaps you can just go meet him instead of talking to me. That's a fair mm. point. That seems like a wise decision. Yes, my, my job here is done after all, and uh, you have no need of me anymore. I look down at Fritz. <laughs> And you can yeah, see so that this whole time he has been avoiding eye contact with Fritz. Oh, baby. You're doing great. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Stopio. Uh, yes, he's still not looking at you. Uh, do you want to talk to me? I want you to do whatever it is that will make you happiest. Uh, that is my job here, uh, to make sure that uh, it is convenient for all the pilgrims uh, in order to bring the hearts of Alinthi to the, the life tree and make things as... Stop, Eo. 
I'm asking as your daughter, not as a pilgrim. He just kind of leans down and puts one hand to his forehead. Um, are your friends uh, comfortable with having this conversation with us? Uh, I, I have no yeah, problems with it. But... Like. D- do you want them here? Uh, actually, I think I left my hammer outside of the room. I think, Larry, do you, do you know where I left it? Word? What? Perhaps. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Perhaps maybe you we can... should introduce ourselves to the dragon while you catch up. Yeah, maybe you can help me find it, word. <laughs> In a minute. No, not... Well, I'll it's, really Im- it's really important that you come with me now to help me find it, I think. I'm already All heading right. out the door. <laughs> but there better be something cool about where it is. I think there is something cool about it. Let's just leave... And he- I will. Lyra might have already found it, so let's hurry up before she throws it. Fritz, the tell me what happens. <laughs> like, <laughs> me the door. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, dry. he's like clawing onto the ground. <laughs> Just gouging claw for it into the door frame, like, wait. <laughs> As we get outside, you can hear like muffled, like us fighting, like outside. <laughs> 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 Chris is just laughing at their friends as they leave. <laughs> oh, buddy. And uh, so the door closes, and he is just fiddling with his thumbs, sitting in his seat. Uh, hello? I don't really know how to approach this conversation. Uh, is there anything you want to know about me, or... I, Should I start asking? I don't know if I'm owed that story. Hmm. Um. I've spent over two decades now away from you. I think you are the one who deserves answers, not me. I guess, yeah. Uh... I guess straight into it. Uh, do I have a, 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 a other parent? <laughs> uh, you, you do, yes. A, a beautiful uh, harpy breed, Aarakocra, uh, like myself, like yourself. Her name is Guldia. I don't know what her uh, what her surname is now. Must have changed it after the divorce, but divorce. Uh, yes. Um. <sighs> When I said I wasn't ready to tell you, it's because it's not easy to explain when you're not fit to be a parent. Well, this is a time as any. Uh, Pierce, so, uh, we, uh, your mother and I, when we had you, we were incredibly grateful. It's just uh, we couldn't take care of you. Um, we fell out of love for each other and figured that we're not cut out to be parents, and uh, that's no place for a child. Well, we didn't want to raise you with what little experience and ability that we had and funds, and honestly, it would have been miserable for you. And so, uh, Dozen, I had done him a favor uh, back a long while ago, and so I asked him one in return to raise you. I don't know what he's told you about whatever your past is, but whatever it was, I'm sure he had the best of your interest in mind. Hmm. Okay. And uh, I know that I'm not owed a place in your life, but I just, I've been busy with other things to make the world, I guess, better for you, even if it meant I wasn't in it. Uh, and I would happily, uh, willingly, be a part of it now, but that is your choice. Just as uh, when I gave you up, it was for you. Whatever it is you request of me, I'd be willing to do it for you, even if it meant staying out of it. 
Fritz is going to look over their shoulder and check if their friends are still around and look back. Are they checking. eavesdropping? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No? Okay. Yeah, I don't Possibly. Think so. <laughs> I would. <laughs> yeah. It depends on if Buck and Word's little, like, tangle of cartoon limbs has them distracted enough that they want yeah, to. Yeah, but I, I, I would think Buck and Word are, like, outside. Like, I'm outside. Yeah, I thought like, you would have, like, ushered me out of the full building. Yeah, I would, I'm not concerned with, I trust to Lyra to be her, like, full-grown adult oh. self. I don't trust Word, so I'm grabbing Word and, like, <laughs> like fighting with him outside. <laughs> yeah. Fritz kind of just, like, pushes their feathers out of their face and his guys, and, like, shimmies their shoulders. It's like, all right, then. Ooh, years... And years of undoing what you have done. And I come to your doorstep and you say you did this for me. I appreciate your courage to face me, finally. But you're a fucking coward. He just kind of looks down and says nothing. Even in this moment, you have given me opportunity to take accountability, and all you've handed me is excuses of it, it was for me. The only person who ever did anything for me, with me in mind, was Dozen. Dozen did this for me. Dozen took me in for me. So if you want to be a part of my life, start by at least owning your fuck-ups. I was raised by someone who was very courageous, by someone who was taught me to be courageous, but someone who taught me to hold my morals and not let this world corrupt me. My friends out there do everything they can to keep me the happy Fritz that they know. You haven't done anything for me. He... I'm willing to hear you out. I'm willing to give you a shot because the kindness those people have taught me is still there. He nods. Then giving you to Dozen was the right choice. Because you would have not gotten that with me. I was not in a good place, and you would have been miserable. You haven't even said sorry. He looks down, and he takes a deep breath. Your life with Dozen was good. I'm not sorry. Your life with me would have not been so much. I'm not asking you to apologize for that. I'm asking you to apologize for the child. I'm not that person anymore. I'm grown up. I understand what you did. I understand it completely. A child doesn't. He just kind of looks up, and he looks a little bit frustrated. Well, what am I supposed to tell a child? I'm sorry, I can't take care of you. Yes, it's simple. It's some sincerity. Very well. I am sorry. I couldn't take care of you. Okay. Well, that's all, I guess, Phelan wanted. They wanted a reason. Me as Fritz now, I understand. I agree with you. I wouldn't have been happy with someone like this. Me as a child, I couldn't understand that. I just want you to acknowledge what you had done to a child. He has the very slightest of nods. Barely even noticeable. And he looks <gasps> down at his papers. They like shake it off and they're like all right then the score's settled <laughs> he uh raises one eyebrow a little bit confused 
I don't hold grudges, Estropio. I've had my whole life without you. I appreciate you answering my questions. That was noble of you. But I'm not going to sit here and hold your choices against you. Like I said, I understand it. I get it. I'm an adult. I understand. I just wanted you to apologize to me as a kid. That was it. Me now, I could have lived on fine. But it was nice to get that. <laughs> well, he kind of fixes his ascot a bit. Uh, this is not the response I was expecting. What were you expecting? Well, the anger for the most part. But, um... Uh, understanding forgiveness, not so much. Uh, you probably have things to do. I think now I have to process some things. Um, mm. I, I do have to get back to work, but perhaps if you do want to visit again, uh, by all means, uh, my office is open to you and, and your friends as well. And if you ever do see Dozen again, tell him I said thank you. I will, but on one term. Yes. You're going to come to me this time. There's a tavern down there. I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> Give me a persuasion. All right. He's looking at all his papers. Uh, the, 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 uh, the Lord Euphrasia and and uh, the tr 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 and then he just kind Not of now. like thinks thinks for a second. He's stumbling over his words. They, they the, the work. I yes, I would I would like to have a drink. All right. Well, I gotta go save the world. I guess <laughs> they like laugh their ass off. Like. <laughs> I know you will. You am are Dozen's like daughter, after all. Not my, am I, am I, sorry, am I anything like my mother? I'm curious. Oh. Before I leave. That's hard to explain. <laughs> you certainly took after her, and as far as looks go. Mm. Tell me, uh, what, what are your skills in the arcanery? Arcana? Um... Uh, barely any. I'm, I've been... Sure. Then I think you're going to like her a lot. Like... Hmm. What, what, do you, what do you mean? Well, you are Pilgrims of Satya. Aguna is one of your places, and that has the most advanced teachings of mages that I have ever seen. She works there. Uh, like I said, we separated after we found out we were not a great match for each other. But we do keep in touch every now and then. Does she, she know about everything? Mm, yes. She and I made the decision together. It was a joint effort, right. as we both realized it was probably best for you. Alright then. Well, I gotta go do dragon business and collect another sorry from a sorry parent. <laughs> she like playfully pats like bashes him on the shoulder she he just sighs and just like <laughs> tilting his head raising his eyebrows in a sort of yeah i deserve that kind of like motion <sighs> all right you're going to do great out there fritz oh i know <laughs> just you watch me all right and then they leave fritz you gain an inspiration for that <laughs> everybody get an inspiration today <laughs> so is Lyra outside when Fritz leaves? Lyra's fully outside. Like I think she like sidled about ten feet down to have the, like the barest like. Oh, maybe I was looking for a water fountain or something. I don't know. Uh, Lyra. Okay, so you guys have the sigils that will allow you into the research and creation center, the R and C for short. Wait, I wanted to see what happened with Fritz and Lyra. Oh, yeah, Fritz and Lyra. Is there anything you guys want to do? Mm. I'm watching my stories. I want to run up to Lyra. I'm like, Lyra, hi. <laughs> like, Hello. really happy to see them. And I'm just like, it's so nice to have some normality around here. Y yes. 
Are you all right? Fritz just smiled and is like, yeah, I'm okay. That bad, huh? Uh, eh? <laughs> as long as you still see me as a friend, we are good. This was never going to change how I saw you. I was, hmm. um... <sighs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I, I'm almost glad that he's so awful. Ah, I... Devil's advocate, I get why you did it. So glad I'm not a coward like him, though. Excited to see how much I, I am like my mother, though. That'll be fun. <laughs> hmm. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Fritz is going to notice that, like, Iris feeling down just, like, hooks their arm around their neck and they're like, Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, we are going to wrap very soon, but uh, I think we can wrap on a, on a higher note. If you guys would like to head to the Research yeah. and Creation Center. Let's do yeah. it. You guys come out, and uh, Buck, Buck is trying to chase Word, who has Big Blind, like, in his hands. <laughs> and I'm like, come here, give it back. You can't have it back until you let me feed one of these beans to that duck. No, oh, it's, you're not, it's, you're not allowed to feed the wildlife. <laughs> give it, come here. How Why are can't you, you play so roulette fast? on this? I it's start like not, spinning with it. <laughs> stop spinning! Give it back! You're gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> Don't end my kill zone. I get into his kill zone and he hits me in the <laughs> shin with a hammer. <laughs> ah, <duh>. Work! <laughs> and I grab the. I, I grab warn the, you. Give it back! And I take it back. Pick it up and I'm like hanging by it. <laughs> oh. I shake I it to try and like get him off. <laughs> I relent. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh, hey, look, they're back. You look, uh, chipper. Yeah, did it, uh, did it, everything go okay? Do, yeah. I, do we Do we need any help? And I'll, like, kind of hold one hand up to use it as a partition and kind of, like, point to word. <laughs> like, do we need to get, like... <laughs> no, 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 no. I am known as an agent of help. <laughs> I guess All I right. look at word and go, he's a fucking coward. He I won't be tell. causing us any problems. Largely because he seems uninterested in participating. Yeah, no, I, I got the gist that he was just like a baby man right out the gate. <laughs> um, well, he might drink with us. <laughs> Babies don't uh, drink. Okay. <laughs> He's so trying. it must have gone, must have gone pretty good then, right? Um, as good as it could, I guess. <laughs> I have Do my family here. I'm not that bothered. Oh. oh, you mean us. I see. I thought you meant locally. Uh, do we maybe want to get him, like, really drunk and laugh at him? Blood no. bullying is never okay. My character's shaking her head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you bully people who aren't okay. <laughs> I'm, like, shaking my head, too. <laughs> right. I think we should. Well, with that out of the way, we've been... We have these sigils now. We might as well go see if we can meet this Ser Sergi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it Sergi or Sergey? You know, it's probably pronounced Sergey. Okay. You know, it's just a, a name that I found, and I was like Sergi, but probably <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably if it's S E R G E I, it's probably Sergey. I, I saw just G I. Or sorry, yeah, G -I. I thought it was Sergey. Let's go with Sergey. Let's go with Sergey. That sounds more European. Sergey. Sergey. Or Russian. Sergey. Sergey. All right. So you go up uh, into the Research and Creation Center, the tall brass tower at the base of uh, the entire province. There are clankings and crankings and crackles and whistles of the inner workings and workers of the building, presumably hammering away at, at its maintenance or hammering away at some new invention or other. And uh, you make it to the main lift, and as you approach it, your sigils kind of appear almost projected off of your chests um, as you get closer and closer, and the guards see it and let you through. Uh, into the main gates and the large massive kind of base floor has a bunch of different lifts lining the outside of the walls and uh, the guards lead you there they recognize that you are the pilgrims of Satya and let you know that the dragon is on the 40th floor the very very top 
Oh, 40 boy. Floor. <sighs> so 40 floor dungeon next session. <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. So when you step like... into the lifts. Oh, oh, there's, oh there's lifts. Oh, yes, God. let's do that. Okay. <laughs> so oh, the boy, lifts kind of um, uh, gates open up. You step in, it closes. And then you see that there is some kind of arcane energy that covers the whole thing before you shoot up at excruciating speeds, but you don't feel it. As you get higher and higher, you can see pretty much the entirety of Politrios until you reach the very tippy top where there is a uh, what seems to be a see-through ceiling. And when the gate opens uh, for you to exit the lift, you head out and you see a big old door just between you and what you hear, just knockings and crashings and blitzing and zapping all from behind a large, massive door. You can see kind of at the foot of the door, you can see flickering lights just peeking through as well. I'll go to open the door. I think that's a guy. Yes. You just go and open it up. I hope he's big. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, I think so. Before your hand even reaches the handle, the door automatically opens for you. And you hear oh. a voice coming from a fairly sh short warforged, about 10 yards uh, oh. ahead, uh, tinkering away at some strange device. He seems to be of like dwarven stature. Hmm. Oh. And he's standing oh. on a stepping stool working at a workbench. Yeah, I heard you step in as soon as you walked in the building from the ground floor. Your Impressive. hearing is really good. Without looking away from his table, which is an absolute mess of scrap metal, sawdust, shattered crystals, and stacks of takeout food boxes. Oh, Do you think he's got like gamer. eyes on the back of his head and ears on the bottom of his feet? I mean, I imagine no, it's just magic. <laughs> We're it the is an honor pilgrims? to be in your presence, uh, yeah. Ah, no need to kiss my ass or anything. I know I'm pretty good. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> <laughs> and he seems to finish up whatever he was tinkering with, which seems to be a hammer made from the familiar looking crystal material that you saw in mm. Viserly. Mm. And he turns Is it around. The dragon bone stuff? No, it's made of crystals. Mm. Uh, oh, that's right. And he turns around, hops off from his stepping stool, and he just uh, gives a little salute. Good morning, your Buck Lara Fritz and Word, Pilgrims of Alinthi, am I right? That's yeah. correct. Yeah, mostly. Yep, <laughs> and you can see the little warforged Sergey. Oh yeah. my god! Oh, oh, my god. god. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. It's nice to meet you all. The name's Sergey, and let me just say, welcome to the land of inventions. I love. I He's got such Sergei. atomic robo energy. And that is going yes. to be, I think, where we call today's session. Yay! Yay. Where we see what it is Sergey wants you to do in order to get the heart. Hmm. Veg quest. He really Veg just quest. reminds me of Veg robots. Fish, like, fishing the vibe competition. Of robots. Yeah. No, I was thinking like <laughs> Big Weld from robots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's tiny weld.